Welcome back, people of the space. Our lounge here. Do you have daddy issues? Today's stories beg the question of whether or not daddy dearest always knows best. Let's find out. First up, a diamond is a nine-year-old boy's worst enemy. Am I the a-hole for kicking my brother and his family out after his son stole my engagement ring? The reason I, 26 male, know is because I literally caught him in my room going through my things. And it's on freaking camera. My nephew is nine and has a habit of stealing things. They've gotten into trouble a few times at stores because he'd leave with something in his pockets. But of course, because he's a kid, they usually just say he forgot he had it. Even at school, my brother has told me they have had to come talk to the principal a couple of occasions. Doesn't seem like they've done anything to stop it. They had to come stay here with me because my brother lost his job and they weren't going to make it with all their bills, including rent. He's doing Uber right now while he searches for a job and they can move out. I didn't want to because of my nephew specifically, but family is family, I guess. A month ago, I finally bought an engagement ring for my girlfriend that I was planning on proposing to soon, but now I don't know. It's a $4,000 ring that I spent over a year saving up for. It's been hidden in my room under one of my drawers. One time when I found him snooping in my room, I told my brother to control his dang kid, then got one of those cheap spy cams in my room just in case. Then last week, I noticed it was out of its box. After checking the cam, it showed he was in there again when I wasn't home. My brother and his wife have yelled at him. He says he left it by the TV in the guest room, but it's not there. They looked through all their stuff and his too. I know for a fact he's lying about not having it because that's the same thing he said about one of my watches he took, then ended up finding it. By the second day, my brother tells me they can't find it at all, and I told him either they find the ring or he repays me the 4000 I spent on it. If not, they can't stay here anymore. My brother got really upset. He told me I know how their situation is right now, and yeah, it's a tough spot, but I couldn't ignore the fact that his kid, he can't parent, took something extremely important to me that cost a lot of time and money. They were given a week to leave my house if they don't find the ring. They're having to stay at a cheap motel, but my brother won't stop begging to come back because what they're paying right now each night is coming directly out of their savings. He won't stop calling me heartless about letting something like this come between helping them through a difficult time and my nephew keeps saying he's sorry. It's just hard right now to want them around. Don't even know what to do about the ring and every time I think about it, it just makes me so mad that it's hard to care about their situation. Does that make me an a-hole? I don't think you're an a-hole for having them stay somewhere else. Even if your nephew is being honest about the ring, he still needs to understand that stealing is wrong and he shouldn't be snooping around. It would be the same rule if your nephew was in a store and happened to break something. His parents would have to pay for it. Your nephew has to learn that actions have consequences. It's a hard but necessary lesson for your brother to learn as well. What would you have done in this situation? Do you feel bad for the brother? Should he have been shown mercy? Let us know in the comments below. Update. So many of you have asked non-stop for an update. Sorry it took me a while to log back on, but lots of stuff has been going on. Yes, I found the ring. It was a stressful day, doing a deeper search in my house, trying to think like my nephew, and looking in places where I think he'd hide something if he really didn't want it to be found. And the decision was, if it really wasn't found and my brother wasn't able to get him to talk, or they wouldn't be able to pay back what I owed them, then the police would get involved. He did beg me not to, but I told him, then you better pray, I find it, or you come up with the money to pay me for it. Guess both our prayers worked because guess where I found it? In the freaking sink. The sink! And that's thanks to the comments who told me to look in those places. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. It was the sink that was in their guest room. I'm glad he didn't just throw it away. You guys don't know how freaking relieved I was to find it. it. Took some work to remove the pee trap under the sink to get it out, but I was just so happy to find it. Same night my girlfriend, fiance, got back, I proposed to her and she said yes. After a nice romantic dinner, just the two of us at home, the plan was to wait, but after all this crap, I thought, F it, I'm proposing ASAP before anything else happens. After my brother heard about me finding the ring, he thought this meant they could come back. I said no. He wanted to argue about this again. All I told him was, he's lucky I haven't gone to the cops since there was already video evidence of his son taking the ring and there's no way I'm letting them back in when my nephew wouldn't even say what he did with the ring. I talked with my nephew myself after I found the ring, but he said he didn't want to tell anyone because then I'd be mad at him for hiding it. Honestly, I just don't have the energy for them anymore. His problem is their problem, and hopefully they get him help before it's too late. Only thing important to me is my fiance and I start living our lives and planning our wedding. Thank you Reddit for your help. Seriously, you guys were my lifesavers. 
edit to add. I just received this news after already submitting my post for approval and just wanted to add because I'm so happy. But girlfriend also informed me she's pregnant. She found out while she was on her trip and was waiting for a good time to tell me. Not related to the post, but I don't care. I'm going to be a dad. First of all, congratulations on your engagement and the pregnancy. Fantastic news. I'm so glad you were able to find the ring. The fact that you helped your struggling brother was very noble of you. However, you trusted him and his family in your space, and that trust was lost. It sounds like he's stolen from you on more than one occasion. And if he's stolen from you, his own uncle, who else has he stolen from? Your brother and his partner are responsible for their child, and that responsibility means that they are accountable for his actions. Additionally, although your brother's situation isn't an easy one, there are plenty of ways for him to provide for his family, even if that means having to take up two jobs until he finds one that's in his field. Yes, they may have to struggle for a little bit, but he can't rely on you to help him anymore. Moreover, it also sounds like your nephew has deeper issues that may be coming out through stealing and snooping. Yes, children are naturally curious, but perhaps there's no better time than now for your brother and his partner to address whatever is going on with their son. What do you think? Do you think the brother and his son deserve another chance? Our first comment comes from Yogurt Firm. The fact that the kid refused to tell anyone where it was and his parents refused to make him means you are absolutely in the right and would be crazy to let them back in. Little Brad is going to end up in prison if his parents don't wake up. Aqua Venatus chimes in. Congratulations three times over. You found the ring. She said yes, and you're going to be a father. P.S. It's obvious you'll be a better father to your child than your brother is to his. Many more moments of happiness for you and your growing family. Edit. Oh my gosh, this is my first award. I'm glad this was given to me for good news. Thank you. OP, you're going to be a father. That line right there gives me chills every time I read it. Well, whatever happens, I hope I can be the kind of dad my kid will need me to be for them. Next comment from California Jade. It wasn't in the sink, it was in the drain pipe. OMG, I'm so happy for you that you found the ring and got your brother's family out. Amazing update. Coming up, soup is always a good idea. Unless your dad can help it. Am I the a-hole for firing my dad? For context, I own my own restaurant and have it for about 18 years. We are a classic Italian, from scratch farm to table. So naturally, a lot goes into this. One of the sauces we make goes into several different dishes, and we make this in large batches. On a normal day, we cook this for about six hours. On the days that we make it, I come in around 4 a.m. to get it going since we have a lunch service, then dinner service. It's one of my favorite recipes and I love making it, even if it means I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> my father recently retired from his job and has been working with me three days out of the week. Normally, he is just helping with some of the daily pre-cleaning and pre-opening work I needed help with, and it has worked out. However, my dad, thinking he knew more than other people and thinks he is usually right and everyone else is wrong. The sauce that we make has exact and specific measurements for spices, and we have not changed this. This is what works best for us and how it needs to be and stay this way. The other day, I was making the sauce and had to go in and do something in the office. I asked my dad to just stir the sauce for me and I would be back in a few minutes. Should have been it and no issues. I think I was gone five minutes. Later on, I went ahead and tasted everything and I was shocked that the pepper flavor was so high that there was no way I could serve this and no way to salvage it. I called my executive chef over to taste it also and see if she did anything different and we were both shocked. The whole batch was ruined, and we were opening in two hours. My dad asked what the problem was, and I told him, and he said that he added some black pepper because the sauce has always been too bland for him. The long story short was that we had some serious words, and I told him he just cost me a lot of time and money and did something that he had no business doing, and that he was fired and to get out of my restaurant. He said I can't fire him because he was dad, and I said I was his current employer, and that when we are behind these closed doors, referring to my restaurant, that all personal relationships are null and void, and I could and just did fire him, and that he needed to leave and not come back, and that I would mail him his final check. My phone has been blowing up from my mom saying that you never fire a parent, that he was only trying to help and make an improvement, and that I need to take him back. I said no. Then the rest of my family started to blow up my phone saying that what I did was wrong, and that I either hire him back or none of them will be there for Thanksgiving. My husband says I was in the right and did nothing wrong. Edit. I wanted to throw some information in really quick. I was extremely apprehensive in hiring him as a staff member because I know how he is. He has always had the mentality that I'm right and everyone else is wrong. And we had gone nose to nose many times because of this. My parents have always been active in the business, mostly helping to fill in if I was shorthanded or such. 
and he has overstepped his boundaries a few times during these times, as well as thinking he could manage my staff. He and my mom have always had strict guidelines as to what they can and cannot do. When he retired, he asked if I had any positions open, and I told him that I really only wanted to keep him and my mom as fill-in, but he said he was bored and needed something to do and look forward to. I told him that's fine, I would hire him, but he had a 90-day probationary period and I told him exactly what I wanted him to do. I told him from the beginning that I was hesitant about this because I know how he is and that he needs to understand that he is not the boss here. That just because he is my dad that he cannot overstep bounds here. He said he understood. So he knew all along what was expected of him. People are asking why my chef couldn't just fix the batch. The amount of black pepper he added was like he took the lid off and tipped the bottle over for about three seconds and just poured. It was so overpowering that even my chef, who has worked with me for 10 years, wasn't sure if she could fix it. Spicy or not, there was no way to fix it or serve it. We did have leftover and enough to get us through while we hurried and started a new batch. But the point is that it cost us a lot of money and time that we didn't really have. Edit. I was asked why he was in the kitchen in the first place when he was hired to clean and help get ready to open. He had come back to tell me that we needed something ordered or purchased because we were low on supply. I had just had an order come in that I needed to go get payment for, and the sauce was hard boiling and I needed it to just be stirred while I did this. I asked him to just stir the sauce while I went and get the check done. I was gone maybe 10 minutes and at the time, him and I were the only two that were at work. I myself do a lot of cooking and prep work, also so my chef or none of the kitchen staff have arrived yet or were just coming in. He just had one job to do, that was it. So am I the a-hole for firing my dad? Update. I was asked for an update and I have a few minutes, so I thought I would do so. So basically I was asked what the final outcome was, and this is it. I never hired my dad back to my business. He presented to be too much of a liability. I had a handful of employees come up to me and say that they were uncomfortable with him and that if he didn't leave soon, they were going to. This only pissed me off even more. I've always prided myself on making sure I had a safe, respected work environment. So I took things a step further and told my dad that he was no longer welcomed. I will always back up my staff. With that being the case, as you can imagine, my phone blew up. And in the long run, my husband and I spent the holidays alone. Due to a few disagreements that we have had recently with his own family, we have been low or no contact with all involved. We just ended up having a quiet holiday season and loved every minute of it. I gave my employees some much needed time off and shut down for the month of January. My husband and I went on a vacation for a couple of weeks just to relax and enjoy each other again. It's a lot of work to start your own business. A lot of work may be an understatement. You put blood, sweat, and tears into something and watch it grow from nothing. And you certainly don't work so hard for nothing. No one knows that like you do. Your restaurant is your pride and joy. You hired your father on as an employee, and just because your father is your father doesn't mean that he shouldn't be treated like another employee. You wouldn't let any other employee get away with something like that. On top of that, you made your expectations quite clear to him from the beginning. He knowingly overstepped his boundaries. At the same time, your other employees made it known that they were uncomfortable around him. And you can't jeopardize the health and safety of others just because he's your father. Like I said, no one can get away with that behavior and him being your family makes no bit of difference. You were absolutely right to fire him. Business is business. He's not untouchable. You can't throw 18 years away because of your selfish father. And it is selfish of him to think that he can fix what isn't broken. Unfortunately, your father may not ever see that what he did was wrong or ever respect you in your craft. What's important is that you have everyone that wants to be around you and a part of the beautiful life that you built for yourself already around you now. You're not placed on this earth to make your family or your husband's family happy. You found your purpose. Do not go gentle into that good night. You should be so proud of yourself. I know I am. What do you think of the dad's actions? What would you have changed, if anything? Our first response comes from Nerdy Latino. Sorry about the drama but his attitude was detrimental to the workplace morale and what he did cost the restaurant time, money, and resources. Your family don't seem to realize that your business is your livelihood and you need to protect that. DOP responds, It's so strange. Nobody seems to understand what this place means to me except my husband, who has been awe-inspiring supportive. His family has never really taken it seriously, but they have always benefited from heavily discounted meals. And up to a short time ago, my family had been amazing. Now they think it's a hobby. They don't realize how much goes into this and how much I rely on it. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us at our lounge. Be sure to like and subscribe. We would hate for you to miss out on juicy content. If you have feedback on today's stories, please let us know in the comments below. We value you and what you have to say. Can't wait to see you next time.